Welcome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to graph an equation. Now, instead of using our x and y intercepts, which we can easily do for this problem, I'm just going to show you how to convert it into slope intercept form. So what we've had is we have an equation that's in our standard form. And what we're going to want to do is now convert it to our slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So what I'm going to want to do is isolate my y value. So to do that, I need to undo the addition of 2x. So I subtract 2x. Now, when doing this, I have y equals 3 minus 2x. I cannot combine a 3 minus 2x. And however, to write this in this format, I want to rearrange this, this side of this expression, so it's y equals a negative 2x plus 3. And that's plus 3 because that 3 is positive. Now, to graph this, I need to make sure I understand what my y-intercept is, and then my slope which we can write as a fraction of negative 2 over 1. So now my y-intercept's at 3, so I go on my y-axis. I go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3. Then, since my slope is negative 2, 1, the change in y is negative 2, so I'm going to go down 2 and then to the right, 1. Now I have my two points. I can graph my line. All right. And what we notice is we can see that my y-intercept is at 0, 3. My x-intercept, we're going to approximate, is between 1 and 2. Um, and my graph is going to go infinitely up, to the, up uh, to the positive and negative direction. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve by converting to slope-intercept form. Thanks. Or graph.